In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to perform the Mills test. The purpose of this test is to test the integrity of the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis tendons, where a positive test could be indicative of a potential diagnosis for lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow. So for the Mills test, you're going to want your patient either sitting or standing. So first, you're going to want to locate the lateral epicondyle and you're going to be palpating that. So lateral epicondyle, you want to make sure that your patient starts off this test with their elbow bent. Then you go into pronate their forearm fully. And now you're going to fully flex the wrist. And lastly, you're going to extend their elbow. Okay, so a positive test, it's going to be pain reproduction at the common extensor origin, so exactly where you were palpating. And this could be indicative of a potential diagnosis for lateral epicondylitis. All right, so that was the Mills test. If you would like to confirm your diagnosis for lateral epicondylitis, I would check either one of these out. And don't forget to hit the like button if you learn anything new today and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.